morning, pandas. Good morning, teacher Shelley. Oh, your voice is very loud today. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, teacher Shelley. All right. So we're on pack number four, activity number three. So the reason behind this craft is that I found out that the lion class, in their classroom, they had real fish. I know, I did not know, did you? So I thought, why not let the pandas have their own fish in your house? So that's what we're gonna make today. So in your pack, let's have a look. You have two big paper plates, one, two. You have some bubble wrap. This is very special because if you want to move something and you want it to stay in one piece and be safe, you wrap it in bubble wrap and it gets there nicely. We've got some coral. This is what you find at the bottom of the sea and it helps the fish to have a happy life. And then if we've got this, we need some fish as well. So we've got three little orange fish and a big orange fish on an orange stick. So this is what's in your pack. Now at home, you're going to need some blue paint, some yellow paint, maybe two brushes or one brush and you have to wash it carefully, some pens to draw the face on the fish and maybe some glue and tape. All right, so let's have a start, shall we? So as you can see on Teacher Shelley's table, I'm not going to get it messy because I put something down just in case paint gets everywhere, which it probably will because I'm painting. So let's start. One paper plate. So we're firstly going to make the C. Okay, so I need some blue paint. So let's move this over here. Now with the paint mummies and daddies, you can put lots and lots of water in with the colour. It doesn't have to be thick because it's got to look like water. So let's have a look what's going to happen. Ooh, yeah, so we need some sea under the sea, under the sea. So you don't have to go all the way around at the bottom if you don't want, because you're going to put the bubble wrap at the bottom. So there we go, so there's our blue paint there, that's nicely. And then we're going to put some yellow on, but not on the plate, okay? Leave the plate over here. And this is where we get the bubble wrap. So this is where it could be a little bit messy. But I want you to colour the bubble wrap in yellow. Ooh, yes. Okay, so let's go for all that. Again, mummies, you can put lots of water into the paint. It's just to cover all this in yellow. Da, da, da. Oh, I love painting. I paint at home when I'm not at school, you know. All right, so that's all of the bubble wrap in yellow. So let me just move the paint out of the way. And if we look here, that is gonna go at the bottom of your plate. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute or two. So I'll put this over here. And luckily, Teacher Shelley has got a wipe. So we're gonna mat that. All right, so let's have a look at the fish, shall we? So we've got the one big fish and the three little fish. So we need to give them nice faces. So I'm going to do a big eye on the big fish, a smaller eye on the smaller fish, and tiny little eyes on the tiny little fish. Now, if I was a fish living in the sea, floating around all day, I think I would be very happy. So I'm going to make the big fish very, very happy. Ooh. And the smaller fish, is he happy? I think so. So let's give him a big smile too. And the little fish, they might be little, but they're very happy. So they're going to get a big red smile as well. So that's our fish decorated, lovely. So let me just move these over here. 
it shouldn't take long for your paint to dry if you only put a little bit of paint on with lots of water and just go all over like that it should dry quickly so let's have a look oh all right teacher Shelley so we've got the yellow and we've got the blue so what we need to do is make sure that the yellow is at the bottom blue at the top yellow at the bottom so I need to put some glue on the bubble wrap oh feels very funny with my finger okay so lots of glue and then we stick it nicely at the bottom but why is it at the bottom teacher Shelley because at the bottom of the sea there's sand yellow sand like you see on the beach so that is why that's yellow so how about we put our coral and our fish into the sea so here's the coral remember lots of little bits of glue pandas and a little bit on here because if you have two lots of glue it means it sticks extra strongly oh there's one Okay, we stick that one here. Ooh, yes, it's looking like the ocean already. So what about our fish? That's right, we need to put our fish in the water. Fish have to stay in the water, because that's when they are happy. So we've got a little fish. Shall we hide him? <laughs> He's hiding behind the coral. Little fish like to hide behind these in case a big shark comes by and then the shark can't see them. So let's put a big fish. Where should we put the big fish? I think he might be there. And then the other little fish. Where shall I put him? You can put them anywhere you want. I think he might be there. Okay. So the big fish here on the stick, you cannot put him on the glue because why is he on a stick? We're going to find out. So this other paper plate, this is going to go on here. Look, what can you see? Nothing. Uh-oh, because we need to have a hole in here. So the easiest way to cut a circle, which is what I would like you to do, if you bend the plate just ever so gently like this and get your scissors can you see there there's a line on the paper plate if you cut like this slowly slowly mummies you might have to help the pandas because i know they're quite good with the straight line but this Ta-da! how clever is that so what the plan is, is when you go like this, you can see all the fish. Now, can we see all the fish yet? Yeah? No, because my fish are up there. So I need to make this a little bit bigger because I want to see all the fish happy. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more. You might be okay. You, if you can see all your fish, when you've cut the circle, good job. If you cannot, you can cut a little bit more off of the plate. So let's have a look now. Can we see all the fish? Ah, that's better. I can see the big fish and one, two small fish as well. Okay, so we need to put this together to this plate. So this is where you would need your tape. So if you hold it nicely and put a little bit of tape on one side, stick together and a little bit of tape on this side when i lift it up it stays in one piece now i'm going to put a little bit of tape on the top because then this will make it nice and strong so put it on the top there now i'm not going to put any tape at the bottom because this is what this fish is for. All right. So this is what the stick's for. You open it up and put the fish inside. Can you see? And then you can get a little bit of tape. 
only a little because your fish is going to swim. So there we go. Are you ready? So you can lift your... Ooh, ooh we're coming out the bowl. You've got to stay in the water, big fish. And there is your own aquarium. Right. An aquarium is a big place where lots of fish can live together and you can look at them every single day. So that's the craft for today. Hope you have a good time making it. I'll see you on the next video. I love you. Bye-bye.